Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a suspense horror film, Borderland. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Two policemen, officer and his partner, knock on the door of a house, but no one responds. They enter through the back door and investigate the house. They find odd items like tarot cards and back corpses on the table in the living room. Officer checks the rest of the house, while his partner stays in the living room to investigate. The partner finds a human jawbone in the fireplace, while officer forces his way into one of the rooms. He finds bloody tools, figurines, a ritual circle, and rotting meat in the room. He is startled by a goat running loose. Officer returns to the living room and finds his partner held hostage by two men, Baldy and Mr. Mustache. Baldy walks to officer and knocks him out. Officer is later awakened and dragged into a room where Baldy is sawing his partner's arm off. Baldy gouges the partner's eyes out and collects them in a jar. He tells Mr. Mustache that they are for Papa, their this boss. Officer tries to help but gets shot at. He is then forced to watch as Mr. Mustache decapitates his partner. A year later, Henry and his friends are partying on a beach beside the Mexican border. Phil, one of Henry's best friends, tells him that they still can't find Ed, another one of their friends. Phil later finds Ed near the shore. Henry arrives and tells them that they should go to Mexico to have fun. Ed initially declines, but Henry convinces him to go anyway. After a short drive, they arrive in Mexico. They grab some food and walk around the town. They later go to a strip club. Inside, Henry talks to a prostitute and buys her services for Phil, who is still a virgin. Excited that his friend will finally become a man, Henry calls Phil over and hands him the money for the prostitute. He tells him that she is also a virgin like Phil. Meanwhile, Ed locks eyes with Valerie, the bartender. He walks over to her and tries to order a beer in Spanish, but she corrects him and they share a laugh. He sits at the bar and watches, as a customer offers Valerie money in exchange for sex. She walks away, but the man grabs her. She slaps him and tells him to leave her alone. Ed tells the guy to leave her alone, but the man cuts Ed with a knife. Valerie hits the man with a bat and saves Ed. She then treats Ed's wound. He asks her out, and she agrees. The following moment, Phil heads to the prostitute's house. She starts removing Phil's clothes, but gets interrupted by her crying baby. She tries to calm the child down, but to no success. Eventually, Phil helps her calm the baby down. The next day, Ed, Phil, and Henry are at a restaurant having beers. Valerie arrives at the restaurant with her cousin. Later that day, the group ingest hallucinogens and smoke weed in the parking lot. They have fun riding the attractions and playing games at the nearby amusement park. Phil heads to the restroom, but it is occupied. He impatiently bangs on the door and shouts at the person inside, who is apparently Baldy. Baldy walks out of the restroom and stares Phil down. Phil returns and tells Ed and Henry that he's going to meet up with the prostitute again. After the amusement park, Ed and Valerie run around a cemetery, while Henry and the cousin talk outside. They find a quiet spot, and Ed tells Valerie that he's really happy. They start kissing passionately. Phil is walking to the prostitute's house when a stranger walks up to him, asking for a lighter. Suddenly, he feels sick and sits down on the street. The man signals the car behind them up to the curb. The man offers Phil a ride, and he hesitantly agrees. He tries to leave when he spots Baldy inside the car, but gets stopped when they wrap a bag around his head. The following morning, Ed and Henry cannot find Phil. They wait for Phil in the lobby, but he doesn't show up. Phil wakes up tied in a dark bark. A caretaker walks in and gives him a drink. He tells Phil that it won't be long until he meets Papa, their boss. Phil tries to ask him who they are, but the caretaker doesn't respond. Henry and Ed report Phil's disappearance to the police. While waiting for an English-speaking cop, they see Officer, who has also come to the station to report a grave robbery. Officer tells the cop that the bodies will be used for a ritual, but the policeman tells him to ignore it because investigating further will only get him killed. He returns to his apartment and reviews pictures of the gang's illegal activities. Meanwhile, Henry and Ed finally talk to an English-speaking cop and tell him of Phil's disappearance. But the cop says that they can only start investigating a disappearance after 72 hours. Ed asks Valerie to help look for Phil. A procession walks by, and they find out that other townspeople have also mysteriously disappeared. Back on the farm, Phil is talking with the caretaker. Phil tries to offer him money in exchange for his freedom. The caretaker tells him that it isn't about money. The caretaker tells Phil that Papa plans to use him for a ritual, and that he should be honored. While looking for Phil, Henry notices that a car has been following them around. He walks up to the car and sees the guy inside, who is revealed to be the hitman, Mr. Mustache. He asks him what his problem is, but Mr. Mustache only warns him to leave Mexico. 
Henry sees the stuffed toy that Phil was supposed to give the prostitute in the back of the car. Meanwhile, Phil calls the caretaker and tells him that he needs to go to the comfort room. He asks the caretaker to open his pants for him, since his hands are tied. When the caretaker agrees, Phil headbutts him, then runs out. The caretaker signals to a farmhand who goes on horseback to chase down Phil. Phil runs to a bridge, but stumbles upon a burial ground where he sees dead bodies. He reaches the road and asks for help from a passing car, but he gets ignored. The farmhand arrives and lassos Phil, then drags him back to the shack. Meanwhile, Officer, who has continued his investigation, watches from a distance. He watches as Papa and his goons arrive at the ranch. Valerie's cousin tells them about how she heard two men talking about capturing a white man for Papa's ritual. She then tells them that if it is indeed Papa who has captured Phil, then there is nothing they can do to save him. They notice the car that has been following them parked outside. Henry goes out and grabs a crowbar to deal with them, but Ed stops him. Henry goes anyway and breaks the car's headlights. Baldy emerges from the car and shoots Henry in the neck. He points the gun at Henry's head, but the gun jams. Ed tries to call the attention of passing police car, but it only drives away upon seeing Baldy. Baldy hits Henry with a gun and drives away. Henry survives and tells Ed that everyone is afraid to talk about the gang. Henry tells Ed that they have to leave since the bad guys will likely come back for him. But officer shows up and offers his help. That night, Papa meets Phil. He notices bruises on Phil and threatens the caretaker if he ever harms Phil again. Papa tells Phil about how he only used locals for his rituals in the past. This changed when the last local that he used broke the ritual and turned the magic bad by refusing to scream and shout in pain. Now, Papa plans to use Americans, who he thinks are soft, to get the screams that he wants and finally please the gods. Phil's hair also gets shaved after that. On the other hand, Officer tells the group about Papa's drug cult. He tells them that Papa makes his drugs invisible to the border police by creating a magical shield of human blood around them. Papa offers the gods a human sacrifice in exchange for their protection over his drug operations. Officer tells them that the ritual will happen tonight and that Henry and Ed should return to the US and report to the FBI. They agree to meet up again after 30 minutes to get the evidence on Papa's cartel. Back in their room, Henry admits that he is afraid and wants to leave. Ed tells him that they can leave as soon as he drives Valerie home. Valerie's cousin arrives home and finds the door open. She walks up the stairs and is terrified by a severed goat head on her bed. She tries to run away, but finds Mr. Mustache behind her. Valerie later arrives home. Before Ed is able to leave, he hears Valerie scream from inside the house. He runs up and finds the cousin decapitated on the bed, with the goat head in place of where her head should be. He comforts Valerie. After Ed leaves, a blackout ensues. He heads to the lobby, but returns when there is no one there. Baldy and Mr. Mustache appear with machetes and follow Henry. Henry notices them and the other goons at the end of the hallway. He tries to run, but is surrounded on all sides. He desperately bangs at the doors, but they all stay shut. Henry breaks into a room and climbs out the window. He tries to climb up to the roof, but Mr. Mustache grabs his leg. He kicks Mr. Mustache in his balls and breaks free, but Baldy appears like a ball and cuts his leg. Henry finally pulls himself up to the room, but the rest of the goons arrive. Henry tries to fight back with a pipe, but the goons overpower him. They slash at him and bring him to Baldy, who cuts his arm off. The rest of the gang takes turns slashing him, and Henry dies. Soon after, Ed and Valerie return to the hotel and find police outside. Ed runs through them and finds Henry inside a body bag. He then changes his mind and tells Officer that he will join him in raiding the farm. Phil is awakened and finds himself half-naked with his hair shaved off. The caretaker drags him to the ritual room, and they begin the ritual. Papa takes off his shirt while his goons remove Phil's chains. They slowly surround him from all sides. Phil tries to run out, but gets pushed back into the ritual circle. With a cleaver, Papa cuts into Phil's heel. Papa rips off the tape covering Phil's mouth, and Phil screams. While on the floor, Phil starts praying. Angry at Phil for praying to the wrong god, Papa begins his own prayer and later bites Phil's smelly tongue off. He then kisses his priestess assistant, and she puts Phil's tongue into a cauldron filled with the bones of previous sacrifices. Shortly after, Phil is hanged upside down and bleeds to death while they record him on video. While this is happening, Officer, Ed, and Valerie arrive at the farm. They sneak past the guards and approach the mansion. Officer enters, while Ed and Valerie watch the perimeter. Officer finds Papa soaking in a bathtub, with his eyes closed. He gestures the attendants away and approaches Papa. Meanwhile, Ed and Valerie see and follow Baldy. They enter the kitchen and find Phil's clothes. But they are forced to hide when Baldy returns to the room. 
Baldy puts his sack on the table and pulls Phil's severed bald head from it. Officer tells Papa that they should have killed him when they first met a year ago. He hits Papa with the gun, and an attendant grabs at him, but he shakes her off. He asks Papa where Phil is, but Papa tells them that they are too late. Papa dares Officer to pull the trigger, but Officer beats him down and starts cuffing his hands. Another attendant stabs Officer in the back, and Papa manages to grab a gun. He shoots Officer in the stomach, but Officer shoots back. While leaving the house, Officer shoots Mr. Mustache dead. Officer regroups with Ed, and they escape the house. A shootout ensues between them and the guards, but they are able to drive away. Only a few moments away from death, Officer asks Ed to promise him that he will tell the FBI the truth, and Ed agrees. They arrive at a house near the border and ask the owner for help. They treat Officer wounds, but his pulse has already stopped. Ed looks for the owner outside, but the owner is nowhere to be found. He runs to the van to grab the evidence and their guns, and returns to the house. He shuts the blinds and barricades the doors. They hear gunshots from outside. Ed hands Valerie a gun, and hunts for intruders. He notices a doorknob turning and shoots the door, killing the person behind it. Baldy emerges rolling like a ball, and wrestles Ed to the ground. He is about to stab Ed, but Valerie shoots him right in his bald head. The caretaker also tries to enter the house, but gets shot at. Suddenly, a tractor drives through the wall, and Ed and Valerie shoot at the driver. Behind them, the caretaker emerges, and they hold each other at gunpoint. Ed tells Valerie to run, but the caretaker chases after her. One of the goons emerges from the tractor and fights Ed. They fight for a while, but Ed beats him down and chokes him unconscious. Valerie runs into the caretaker and tries to slam the door on him. The caretaker breaks through and hits her against the wall. He beats her, then shoves the gun in her mouth. Valerie fights back, and they end up on the floor. She manages to pick up a gun and shoot him, but there is only one bullet. He rushes to her and pushes her out of the house. The caretaker pulls out a knife, but Ed arrives and hits him on the head with a machete. Ed continues to hack at his body in anger. Suddenly, Ed hears the other cult member trying to escape. The man tells him that he doesn't want to fight anymore, but Ed chases him down and ends his shitty life. Ed falls to his knees in disbelief at what he has done. The film ends with a caption explaining how drugs were found alongside cauldrons filled with human hair. A drug runner and cult member were captured and admitted to sacrificing humans to become invisible. Over 50 bodies without brains and spinal cords were found on the farm. Finally, we discover that Ed and Valerie were arrested while trying to swim across the river border. The case still remains unsolved to this day. This is Daniel CC Moody Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day. That is crazy.